A wise man once said, drugs don't work if people don't take them. For long-term therapies, approximately 50% of patients take their medication as prescribed in developed nations. In developing nations, this is near to 30%. The WHO has noted that poor medication adherence is estimated to grow worldwide as rates of non-communicable disease, mental disorders, HIV, and TB continue to rise. The poor are disproportionately affected. In the US, medication non-adherence costs over $100 billion every year in avoidable hospitalizations. Addressing this problem may have a greater impact on public health than any improvement in specific medical treatments, as highlighted by the WHO in the report of medication non-adherence. One factor that can have a significant positive impact on medication adherence is convenience. People adhere better if they're able to take medication less frequently, such as taking a pill once a day instead of every six hours. Several studies have examined the effect of weekly or monthly dosing compared to daily. Lengthening the interval has been shown to increase adherence rates. Recognizing this effect, our team focused on developing orally delivered dosage forms, which enabled ultra-extended drug delivery, on the order of multiple days, weeks, or even months following the ingestion of a single capsule. The main challenge of oral ultra-long retention in the body is the gastrointestinal tract's incredible ability to rapidly transit material. Typically, ingested material will pass completely through the GI tract within a day of ingestion. To overcome this, we developed a novel star-shaped system that has both the dimensions and mechanical properties to resist passage out of the stomach, enabling its prolonged safe residence within the stomach, while simultaneously allowing safe passage of food out of the stomach. We also developed novel polymer formulations that are able to hold, protect, and release drugs in a controlled way over the course of weeks. We made the arms of the star dosage form out of these polymers. For safety, we developed linkers that ensure that if the dosage form passes through the pylorus, it would break down in the small intestine. We have extensively evaluated these dosage forms in pigs without seeing adverse effects. Our dosage form could potentially allow people to take a pill once, which will stay in the stomach and continuously deliver the dose they need. This technology could significantly improve the side effect profiles of drugs dosed over long periods through improved pharmacokinetics avoiding complications such as those caused by peaks and lows associated with standard capsules. To test these new systems, we used ivermectin, a common antiparasitic medication, which has been broadly applied for the eradication of river blindness. Interestingly, ivermectin happens to be toxic to mosquitoes that carry and spread malaria. So what if we can use the power of ivermectin to combat malaria? In collaboration with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, we developed an ultra-long ivermectin releasing system that can be dosed orally. We developed a novel star dosage form containing ivermectin which could stay in the body and continuously release the drug for 14 days. We demonstrated the sustained release of ivermectin in pigs to model both the gastric retention and stability of the dosage forms and demonstrate the capacity to reach required ivermectin concentrations in the serum. We collaborated with experts from Imperial College in London and the Institute for Disease Modeling in Seattle to evaluate the potential to eliminate the malaria parasite in real-world settings. Using simulations informed by real-world data, we demonstrated that when the ultra-long ivermectin dosing system was introduced into villages and populations where malaria is highly endemic, it had the capacity to significantly reduce malaria burden when used in combination with an anti-malarial by shortening the lifespan of the mosquitoes. In effect, humans armed with the ivermectin dosage form could help to massively reduce vector populations of malaria-spreading mosquitoes. Our dosage form could help people adhere to life-saving treatments and potentially be used as a new kind of weapon in the fight against malaria. We are committed to bringing these technologies to patients. The technology is currently being further developed by Lindra, a Cambridge, Massachusetts-based healthcare company with a mission to revolutionize the way patients take medicine. We would like to recognize the tremendous support from our sponsors, including the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation the National Institutes of Health, and the Alexander von Humboldt Foundation. Under the auspices of a Max Planck Research Award to Professor Langer funded by the Federal Ministry of Education and Research. Finally, we would like to thank our collaborators and team across different institutions worldwide who helped realize this work.